hey you guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is mink's kinks and um i know y'all clicked on the title because y'all are like tamia mink what is going on here so this video is going to be about spilling tea yeah um so y'all know that honey's handmade was one of my favorite brands yes y'all heard correct past tense was one of my favorite brands so um i felt like i owed you guys this video because i will no longer be supporting honey's handmade so let's just go ahead and get into it. So first things first, thank you guys for clicking on this video. Um, I appreciate you guys supporting me. I appreciate to uh, I appreciate my curl friends who I reached out to um, to discuss this issue with because I didn't know if it was me. I didn't know if I was overreacting. I didn't know, you know, what to do in this situation. So um, maybe about two or three weeks ago, I posted or y'all know that I just post a lot of Heidi's handmade videos because I like their products um they work pretty well in my hair of course I've had some things that I didn't like but I have a lot of their products so I do a lot of reviews for them um one of my subscribers reached out to me and let me know that they included me on one of their emails so I go and check out the email um I'm also going to post a video of it um I don't know what side I'm gonna post it on but a pop-up of the video um so it was a video just sharing um it was it was promotion for a sale um and they were they shared my video they did put a link to my video in there and a picture of my thumbnail but i was extremely frustrated because the brand never not once reached out to me and said hey tamia hey mink um we really appreciate you doing this review do you mind if we put you in our upcoming email that's all it would have been and um i took it i took it I wouldn't say disrespectfully but like this was the last straw with honey's handmade so they just used the video without saying anything to me where they could have just you know sent a sent an email sent a dm and just said something as simple as that hey we saw you like the product do you mind if we send you another one anything like that they just used the video and just included it in their email and never said anything to me about it and that really rubbed me the wrong way on top of other things that i have um issues with at honey's handmade so y'all this was the last straw um there were two other influencers both of which who i watch who i appreciate who i enjoy their content um i won't say their names because i'm not sure how they'll feel about you know the whole situation but i did reach out to both of them and neither one of them heard from honey's handmade either um and this was just like i keep saying the last straw for me honey's handmade has a ton of inconsistency issues and that's a problem for me i have products um that sound literally like liquid i do have all the products here because i'm gonna show you guys what i still have from them what I will be using up and I will still be doing reviews on them similar to how I did with my L because I already spent my money on these products and I create videos so I will include this video in any further any um any honey's handmade review going forward that will be one of the um i cards that i will include because i won't purchase from this brand again and that'll be made clear in every video so um they did include the other two influencers videos as well and neither one of them heard from honey's handmade either so that was an issue so they did not reach out to me um to use my content for their promotion for their sale strike one strike two was the inconsistency issues we've all been seeing it i've been very turned off from the brand i haven't purchased any products since um the third melba's kitchen collection um because who has time to get one product this way um it doesn't work or it's super loose super runny you watch a review somebody has a completely different texture or you get a product that you tried before it's a completely different texture don't nobody have time for that i need it to be consistent across the board and the third has been their customer service so y'all the customer service has been trash i've heard that they've been just deleting comments people i'm not sure if it's not getting their orders or not getting the right things in their orders or you know whatever the case may be is on that end but their customer service is not up to par and let me tell y'all when i saw that email i did go ahead and send them a little message and just said hey my name is tamia my name is mink i um, was one of those influencers one of those content creators that you used in the email um i would appreciate if you guys reached out to me um before you just use the video or um i'd be open to collaborating with you guys on like you know um working with you guys but as far as just like using the content not reaching out to me i don't appreciate that they never replied they never replied 
when I tell y'all they quite literally never replied I sent that message a week or two ago um and y'all it only pisses me off that they didn't um respond so I've decided that I'm done with Honey's Handmade I um for me Honey's Handmade is canceled I'm gonna use these products there's just been too many issues this was the third straw and I'm done so I don't know what Honey's Handmade is going to do, but I know a lot of other naturals are not happy with them right now. Chocolate Covered Fat Girl just did a um, video on them. She's been done with them for a while now. Um, I've chit-chatted with her in her comments about Honey's Handmade. And girl, I'm with you now. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the products that I do have from them. You guys will be getting reviews on these products if there aren't already there um but i'm just going to use up my honey's handmade products and i won't be purchasing from them again nobody has time to be keep playing with honey's handmade and y'all see that whole section up here was honey's handmade i have all a ton of products here so i'm just going to go through them super quickly because we're not giving this brand um too much time anymore and i hate to say it because i used to really enjoy this brand i don't know what's going on but um i won't be giving honey's handmade any of my money anymore even after they um, hopefully get themselves together because I do think they have decent products but and they have great prices they have sales all the time but um, for me mm -mm, no more of my money so I do have the Melba's Kitchen Collection Edition 2, Melba's Hair Stuffing Decadent Daily Moisturizer. This is one of my favorite leave-ins of all time, and I hate that I won't be able to purchase it. Again, I have about half the container left, but that's all for this one. I also have the Melba's Kitchen Collection Edition 2 Coconut and Apple Curl Glaze. Again, this is one of my favorite gels. It pairs really well with that leave-in, the moisturizer. Um, really like it. I have maybe a use and a half, maybe two out of this one. I love this gel, but... And then I also have the Melba's Kitchen Collection Edition 3, Melba's Pound Cake Curl Cream Hair Smoothie. I recently did a review on this. I'm not sure if I posted it just yet because I think I wanted this video to go up before... Um, I should get maybe three more uses out of this. This was from Edition 3. It was an okay product. Not my favorite. I didn't hate it either. But, um, again, from Melba's Kitchen Collection Edition 3, I have the um, Melba's Lemon Meringue Curly Friendly Wet Jelly. This is a gel. I have not tried this one yet. I have the Melba's Kitchen Collection Edition 3 Melba's Leave-In Hair Shake. This was the mystery product in last year's box. And then I also have the Melba's Honey Glaze Poo Bar Lather. And this is a shampoo bar. I really am enjoying the shampoo bar that I'm using from them right now. That one's from Edition 2, I want to say. Um, so there's that. Next, I have a couple co-washes from them. Now, these co-washes were included in my week of Minxmas during the products that I want to use up. So I will include that video as well so that you guys can see that. This is the Honey Tame um cherry almond tapioca co-washing cleansing conditioning cream i have never touched this one i heard good things about it from mad curls though so i will use this one up i have the honey cleansing and clarifying co-wash again have never used this one i picked it up because it said clarifying on it and i like my co-washes to be more cleansing than um moisturizing and then i have the 4C Her Hair Vitamin Boost Collection. This is the Purple Sweet Potato and Basil Hair Mask. I hated the whip shampoo. The whip shampoo was included in my least favorite products of 2021. But the mask was just okay. I do have about half of it left. So this will be gone in no time. I had, I will say I got a ton of uses out of this mask. Next y'all I have the Chebe and Almond Milk and Kokum Growth Enriched Hair Mask. I picked this up because All Things Moelle really did like this so I'm excited to try this one. I have the Elderberry and Black Seed Babasu Growth Enriched Hair Mask. I bought this not this past Black Friday but the one before that. It was supposed to be a thicker mask but that goes into these inconsistency issues. This is like literal water. I'm to the point where I didn't even want to use it. I am going to use it up. It may be used as like a pre-poo. I want to transfer it into like a jar so I can squeeze it into my hands because if I scoop this out it's just going to slide right through my hands y'all. So I don't know how I'm going to use this but this will be gone in 2022. And then I also have from Melba's Kitchen Collection Edition 1. This is the Peppermint Deep Penetrating Hair Mask. I heard really good things about this. I want to say from Afro Opinionated. So um, I'm going to use it. But all right, y'all. So next I have the Hawaiian Honey Mustard Curl Cream Leave-In. I used this once, I want to say, before. I'm positive this was one time. And I want to say I paired it with the Wet Line. I want to say um, this is one of my mom's favorite leave-in conditioners. Um 
so yeah it was decent it's very moisturizing though so um you got to be careful what you pair that with i have the jojoba avocado strawberry champagne hair lotion never used this won this from a mad curls giveaway and then i have the juice waves detoxifying shampoo um this will probably be my next shampoo moisturizing shampoo that i use honey's handmaids shampoos are always very liquidy like water um so i'll probably replace this with like a concentration type of nozzle so that i could put it directly on my scalp but i haven't had good experiences with honey handmade shampoos so next i have the uh, melba's kitchen collection edition one blackberry doobie hair custer and somebody did ask me to do a review on this so i will get to this i promise um it's definitely like a lighter cream i don't know if y'all can see this moving but i'm not really sure how i'm going to use this i'm pretty sure this is intended to be a styler but the way it's moving around in here it might just be like a curl cream situation for me next from melba's kitchen kitchen collection edition three this is melba's peach cobbler high def twisting butter um never used this one yet there is a protective seal on there and this is another like loosey type of um consistency um so this might be used up as a leave-in i'm not about to use a twisting butter that doesn't have y'all know any holds so i'll probably use this as a leave-in i may try, try it as a twisting cream one time but if it doesn't have any hold um y'all know i am a hold type of girl i like gels so if it doesn't work then next from melba's kitchen collection edition one as well this is the aloe water hydrating hair gel um i tried this once on dry hair and i wasn't a fan but of course i'm gonna give it another try on um wet hair so that is what this product looks like mine was always this yellowy green type of color so i'm not worried about the color next i have the coconut water slide slip and glide glycerin free gel i do have a review on this um it wasn't my favorite i still have a good bit left to experiment around with i don't think the leave-in that i paired it with was a good option i think it was just too much moisture and it affected the hold so i will be giving this another try of course because y'all know i use products that i have the melba's kitchen collection edition one sweet butter twisting pomade um i've never used this one either this is definitely a thicker twisting cream it says you can use this for a wash and go i don't really do cream only wash and goes but i will try it for a twist out or a braid out or a twist out y'all know that's my jam anyway i have the melba's kitchen collection edition two this is melba's butter pecan do y'all say pecan or pecan i say pecan but like this is melba's butter pecan um curl defining hair butter never tried this one yet it's a nice like runny type of leave-in consistency I will be using this as a leave-in all right y'all so um i have nine products to go i told y'all i have a ton of honey handmade products because it was a brand i used to really like um and i will be giving you guys reviews on them but ain't no more repurchase the next product i have is the cool reconstructing collection this is the peach ginger and quinoa protein curl smoothie this was another product i won from mad curls um never tried it i think the smell turned me off yeah i'm not really a fan of the smell but it's a thicker type of smoothie so i have the juice totally twisted double dutch curl defining cream um this was one i was really excited to try i didn't like the the hair gel that came with that at all i didn't like the refresher so i'm hoping that i like the cream there's a bit more substance with the cream and this is a thicker product like this hasn't went anywhere it smells so so good Mm. smells really good i will probably try this as a twisting cream it has a bunch of waxes in this um which i'm not mad at so i'll probably try this as a twisting cream if not y'all know i'll leave it as a leave-in next i have the honey's handmade um honey twist fine butter i used this on a wash and go on my mom way back when i think that was my first um minx miss and i used it on my mom i believe her hair really liked it so i need to try this on my hair too all right so this is the melba's kitchen collection edition 2 the sweet potato and turmeric healthy scalp hair mask i heard really good things about this from um third eye angel it's one of honey's handmade thicker mask i'm really excited to try this i haven't tried turmeric and too many hair products so i'll give this a go this is the melba's kitchen collection edition 3 this is melba's okra and onion seed slippery elm hair mask excited for this one this one sounds pretty good 
Um, I've never tried any hair mask with onion or okra. I did just order one from Annabelle's Perfect Blends though, so I'm excited about that. It doesn't stink though. It's a looser type of consistency. So I'll give this a go. And um, this one here is from that same Honey Collection. This is the Healthy Hydration Hair Mask. And this is a loose mask. Alright y'all, last three products and then we will get you all up out of here. So this is the um, Healthy Hair Growth Recipes Alfalfa and Green Tea Babasu Growth Enriched Hair Mask. I picked this up um, at the same time as I picked the Chebe one up. Oh, this one is much, much looser. Not too loose though. Um, nothing beats that elderberry mask. And this one is green. I don't think the camera's picking it up, but it is like a light green. I have the 007 Orange Olive and Agave Conditioning Hair Mask. This jar just feels really light, so I'm expecting this mask to be a lightweight type of thing. But it is like a thicker mask for Honey's Handmade. It does smell like oranges and citrus. And then last but not least, this is the Melba's Mixed Green Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. I do have a review on this. I repurchased this product because I really liked it that much. I really did like this mask when I tried it. But yeah, you guys, so if you have any um, product that you want to see specifically, definitely go ahead and comment it down below. I do plan to finish up a lot of these products just because I, I just can't support this brand anymore. So um, yeah, and I usually use like half the jar of their hair mask at a time. Like I just did a review on the blueberry yogurt mask. I used half of that in one sitting. So um, I think I'll be able to get through a lot of these masks this year. So yeah, you guys, let me know your thoughts on this video. Let me know your thoughts on Honey's Handmade. Of course, let me know if you want to see any of these products sooner rather than later. And yeah, you guys, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.